Well, this is my local park run. Starts there, go down here, then like a two loops here, and then back up here. That's the route. And I'm running late. I'm running late for a very special day. It's Saturday, May the 25th, and here in Latin Hydrock, it's pretty green, as you can see. It's looking quite good, pretty bad weather. But this is a special day because it's my 250th. Oh, I can't even say that word. I'm almost tearing up, really. And I wanted it to be a special day, and it is. I wanted some celebration, but I thought, you know, it's not about me, it's all about the people who got me here, so. Yeah, thanks to the people who got me here. I mean, it was a, it was partly my effort, but you know, thanks to all the people who, who cheered me on and organize, and helped organize this event. Hydrock Park Run. Um, one milestone at least to pull out today. Kai. That's me. On his 250th park. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Any other milestones? That'd be a no then. <laughs> one. Oh, 250. Well, I thought I would show you a little bit about this course. From time to time, so this is not going to be my fastest. <laughs> Whole bunch of dogs behind me. Come down the hill. Past the cows and through here now. This is the, the junction here. This is where you loop. And once you're done two, you go up there. Oh God, here we go. We're in Crossroads. Well, this is the River Respirin. And the park run comes just by it. This river practically floods. It's really muddy here. Oh God. It's one of the past runners overtaking me already. Oh, here's 252. Oh, great. And he's pushing it for a bit late, I'd say. So, second time Mary's Crossroads. Another loop for me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm through Mary's Crossroads. This is where I take a break. Only joking. This is pretty much Mount Kilimanjaro here. First of many hills. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm documenting this for the insurance. <laughs> this is steep. Now, it's a very long incline up here. Gentle, but not easy. They say Italians who live in Alpine regions are healthier than the flat coastal dwellers because of the uh, the steep inclines they have to do every day. The cardio they get as a result. Well, I hope that's true. I hope it's not because of the mountain air or something else. I heard someone sing, singing that Cape Bush song, running up that hill. Oh, learn hydro to say an easy. As soon as you see the sort of like tennis court structure on the left, I think it's the nursery in all honesty. Then you kind of know that you made it. You made it. Thanks. Some exa exasperated people behind me. Corner of the house back again. On this corner. Students. Okay. Thank you. Hold on. 250. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Right, I'll see you.
You can go. Thank you. Talking to the chap <laughs> who claims to have run East Coast Park Run. Yeah, and the thing I've got to point out between here and Cornwall is that uh, you don't have hills in Singapore. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're There's right. There's many. <laughs> this one's pretty hardcore, isn't it? Yeah, it's excellent. So it's good for the lungs right at the end. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. And yeah, this goes out to the star runners of East Coast Park Run. I miss you guys. <laughs> No Starbucks here, we're the Nashville Trust Cafe. So she looks for a pair of look at that, a couple of English tea, you don't get that in Singapore, do you? And look at that. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Come to Cornwall. We've got, we've got other stuff. Have my cup of tea, have my caramel slice to offset the exercise. No. In all seriousness, oh, 250 here was actually quite nice because I had a good old fashioned natter after the run. And um, this is what I really enjoyed about Park Run, the social aspect, which to be honest has been missing for me here because I just moved here and I don't really know anybody. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss, I miss the Star Runners, I miss the community in Singapore. And yeah, Miss Les, I was really sad to hear about his passing and bumped into him a couple of times in, in Singapore town, actually. And he seemed like a healthy guy. I think him and I were neck and neck. So the fact that he's uh, passed is an absolute shock to me. So yeah, Les volunteered many times at East Coast Park Run, especially at the, the loop part. So it will be called Les's Loop. East Coast Park Run, Les's Loop. That's how, uh, that's how we all should remember him, I guess. It's pretty sad. But yeah, 250 today for me. Huge accomplishment. And I don't think I would have got there without everyone's support. So thank you all. And I encourage you to take our park run too. Bye now.